this time I will export only this portion for the work area for the testing we go to here yeah for the finance I make it 01 here settings and this time I will export a uh, Microsoft API file like this from the work area only yeah both the audio and video up to the project panel when finished yeah bit yeah when finished and better no no need here yeah default no problem video the video compressor I can select from here I'll select this one here let's check it configuration low default okay yeah for the setting you can check it quick compress scalability so you can make it that's com depend on the compressor you choose from here for example let's check, check another one uh, this one oh no configuration from here uh, like this one here this the DIVX this compressor that's a very good compressor so you can use for a movie but for the example I choose here that's a very fast for the compression compression and here color depth in here they have millions color and if you select another one for example like this let's check it here they have 256 colors only not too much how about this yeah here they have the option you can select for 256 color or thousand of color so you can select from here depend the code as the color depth depend on the color comparison here here Indian video 5.10 Williams color okay the free size I will make a small one 320 by 240 like this so you can change the free size here you can make it bigger or small so you can change here the free right here this NTSC 29.97 I will make a small one not the file I will display it into uh, internet put it into the internet or whatever and here I make it as a slow free rate in here 10 frame per second keeping the file size small so I made it 10 frame per second and here pixel as per ratio of course you can change here but here I make it as square pixel this video I make it I will display it in a computer screen square pixel I make it and quality here it's better to keep it high quality here for the compression processing more time but the quality is better if you make it quality lower compress is much faster in here you can balance the speed for the compression or the quality of course if like this port is too small like this so I keep it high quality here and here for the data rate like this you can limit the data rate for example like this 3500 kilobit per second this uh, too big for my this one for my video I'll keep it uh, low small like this though they are not exact 250 kilobit per second I lower limit the data rate in here so the file size is uh, uh, smaller if you make it as a 5000 like this though so the file size too big most of the time I, I think but the quality is better but balance compressing a video is the balance for the quality and the file size in here I make it to 50 and you can check it if the quality is good enough but the file size is too big so you can lower lower the data rate in here or if the quality is not good but the file size it doesn't matter to make it bigger file size to make a better quality so you can make it increase the uh, data rate in here that's the balance for the quality and the file size and here we compress yeah all way all make 10 the data rate here make 10 this data rate like this uh, 250 kilobit per second make 10 on here or even one always we compress the uh, image to make a better quality but not exact 250 kilobits per second here but here I will select always I think depend on the sequence here so it's most okay always better than keeping make 10 the data rate because the quality is better mm, quality is the almost the same as the 10 the data rate but the file size most okay sometimes 
is uh, smaller than we can the data rate here. Keep it always. And here keyframe and rendering. Keyframe and rendering here for the uh, video. For the video they have the use the project setting. That means in my project in here this a DV NTSC and that's a 24 bit color depth. That means 8 bit per channel. So I use the project setting from my project file in here. And if you want you can check it as a 8 bit per channel RGB. That means 24 bit. And if you want you can select the maximum bit depth depend on the compressor in here. If the compressor they can use the uh, for example the maximum 8 bit for RGB all channel for the video or if they compressor the file format they can make it as a, a alpha channel so can can make it as a 32 bit for the video so you can use maximum but in this case I use the project setting 24 bit depth for the project here and here fill like the DB NTC they use the lower fill first to display the image then add the upper fill to complete the frame this the way in the uh, TV screen in here so you see the combo effect I show you in uh, in this profile so if you want to turn off so you can make it in here so they interpolate two fill together to make a frame in here so they make a frame so they you don't see the combo effect on, on the export file but most of the time if you want you can use the be interactive video footage for a fast for a fast moving uh, video so they the quality better than better than you select it no field to interpolate upper or lower field to get it to make the free they when you be interactive footage that means they remove the like the NTSC, they remove the upper field and duplicate the lower field to make the full frame as the video like that. And here, of course, if you select upper field first, like this in my in my project here, if I select upper field first, that means they display the upper field, then display the lower field in a TV screen. That's uh, flick green. That's not good. This depends on the project. Like this in my project NTSC. So I can select lower field first or I can make a progress scan like this to interpolate two fields to make one frame and if you are in this project I want to display it like this I check it as in here so this five side frame here I make it in and I want to export it and display on the computer screen so I I can better to keep it select this the interior the footage that means they make a full fade. You don't see the combo effect. The combo effect like like this. So you can you don't see this horizontal line in a computer screen like this. So you can deinterlay the footage. I will show you the video after rendering. And here optimize still. Yeah, you know get okay. keyframe here. You can set the keyframe in here for my project every set the keyframe every. 15 phrase and other keyframe here. I want to add a keyframe on the edit point and have no marker on my project. So even I select here, no keyframe on on that other key, extra keyframe on the movie. Okay, I just add a keyframe on the edit point and the audio. The audio I can select a compressor. A compressor I can select for example I can for the audio. Let's check this one configuration. No configuration yeah I don't think so they have a configuration for the audio compressor here okay if you select quick time movie for example you select quick time movie I know that you can select the compressor and have the configuration here I will show you later here I select a compressor for the audio here I, maybe I select this one I can try it like the audio you, you select and compress the audio that means they have not compressed the audio the quality is the maximum quality but the file size uh, is too big for for this project for this exporting for my video in here so I can sell another code as a compressor in here and here the sample ray yeah I check it here both for the quality and for the file size so you can balance how about the quality and the file size so you can select them 
the lower uh, the lower number in here the not a good uh, audio but the file size uh, is uh, smaller sample right here channel okay make a mono like this interleave at one phase okay you can select half second or one second so if they have no problem for the synchronize for the audio and video like the default one one phase that's okay that's the delay for the audio for the video and here this is the setting I make it I made this setting for my exporting and all this setting I make it and I want to export for a web page like this and here uh, they have a save button here low and save button like this setting I will save it as a setting so uh, in another project so I can just log it load this setting I don't need to come here and check it change this I just log it from here if I have saved the setting here like the one I save this setting into a preset uh, here like the name here I make as a Microsoft AVI5 and the code is uh, Indio Indio video 5.10 like this so okay for web page yeah use okay like this the description I can make it 3 to all like this so you can make some information that you can see check it from here oh. Three per second audio audio two two one o o kilo hex I think so here yeah, like this so you can make it all you want if you want you can say this is my favorite setting for my web page or whatever you can put in here okay click OK to save the setting all this setting as a preset in here here this uh, they put in here so you can just select it log it like that so they make it in here like the one okay just make example here okay a quick time like this I change the quick time change the code whatever in here have been changed so I can load here they will bring the setting from here here you see AVI Microsoft AVI to free size compressor here here audio here so they can you can log it so you don't need to come to here check it check it check it and make it here. you just load like this okay we click OK use this setting and export this movie click here you see not bad very really fast the free space okay here here you see the add the export file in your project panel here as you select add to project when finished from the exporting and yeah here you can close this and check this one here double click and open it here this the export file like this one the file the free size here uh, like uh, 320 by 240 and 10 frames per second use the code as uh, we can change the code how about the code video audio code here like this I did 10 frames per second yeah and also the combo effect they have no combo effect in here they make it here the in the integrated footage like this 